Hey everybody, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, and today I'm going to talk to you about detaching audio and adding freeze frames in ScreenFlow 4. When ScreenFlow 4 records, it likes to group together video and audio that are related to each other, such as here the FaceTime camera, video, and the audio from the built-in microphone are grouped together in one clip, and here the screen recording and the sounds that are generated by the computer are grouped together in one clip. If you want to detach the audio so you can either delete it or work on it separately, all you need to do is select what clip you want to detach the audio from, right click and select detach audio. And then it puts the audio on another track and you can do whatever you want with it. Now, one of the nice things that you can do in your, in your projects if you're adding a lot of video actions and audio actions, they can kind of get convoluted together if the audio and video is on one clip. So this allows you to separate your video actions and your audio actions onto different lines so they don't start getting cluttered together. Two things to note that when you detach the audio first, you can't reattach it. And second, just be careful when the audio is on a separate line, it's easy to get the audio clips moved around and then they won't line up properly with the video. Say here, if I did something and took this audio and I shifted it to the left and I didn't realize it, now the audio is not lined up with my video. So just be careful of that situation. And now let's talk about freeze frames. So down here later in the video, let's see right here, I'm going through a sequence on how to reduce noise with Adobe Audition, but I go through the steps a bit too fast. Let me show you. I do these menu selections a bit too fast. So what I want to do is add a freeze frame to kind of simulate pausing the video at a certain spot. We'll get the scrubber back here in the position. I want this frame here to appear for a longer duration of time so people can see what I'm selecting. So what I'm going to do is select the screen recording and I'm going to right click on this here and split the clip. I'm going to drag this over a little bit to make room for the freeze frame and put the scrubber back at the beginning of this clip. When you generate a freeze frame, it's going to take the frame from wherever the scrubber is at and replicate that frame. So what you need to do here is just right click and add freeze frame and you can see it's added the freeze frame here. Now this behaves just like an image. I can click the edge and drag it out to change how long that freeze frame is gonna show in this video. So let's play this one more time here. It goes through it there and it freezes. Shows up for a longer period of time. Now people can tell what I'm clicking on better in the menu items. But there's one problem here. Now I've taken this clip and it's offset from everything else. Now the, it's not lined up properly with the FaceTime camera. So let me show you how to keep things lined up. Go back here. Now you can just split all the clips together at once and then select here and add a freeze frame. Let's say I want it to last a bit longer. So I can drag this out. And now I can drag these clips to line up again. And now all the FaceTime camera clips and the screen recording are all lined up together again. Now you can add a freeze frame to the end of a clip also. Just take the scrubber and position it at the end of the clip. Just click here, right click, add freeze frame, and there's the freeze frame there. Now if you want to insert a freeze frame into the middle of a clip, all you have to do is position your scrubber, 
select the clip, right click on it and add freeze frame and it automatically splits the clip and inserts the freeze frame with no gaps at all. So that's adding freeze frames and detaching audio with ScreenFlow 4. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.